Okay, good day everyone. Today we'll be talking about the anatomy of the eye. Now, today we'll be using some of the drawings of my friends. Uh, this particular drawing was uh, submitted by Phi. And uh, again, we're going to talk about the uh, anatomy of the eye. Now, the human eye is one of the most important organ in our body. In, in sports vision, there's a saying that the eye leads the body. No? Kung dili takakita, maglisod tagbuhat sa angay na tong buhaton. No? It's very important, especially karon no? Nga doon na tayo quarantine, nag-lockdown, itakagawas. Sige na lang tanaw o Korean uh, drama. No? So kung wala, kung wala tayo mata, di takakita aning mga 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 movies no kaning mga series nga gitanaw nato okay going back to the eye now um, the eye has uh, what we call coatings the coatings of the eye has different function we're going to start the outer in the outer with the outermost layer of or outermost coating of the eye we call the sclera no? So, kani siya, makita ni siya externally Kani yung puti sa atong mata bitaw no? Mauna siya ang sclera Now, the sclera is a fibrous coating It means it's a very strong, very tough no? It protects the eye from the in, uh, foreign body no? So, or, or any trauma or anything that might um, hurt the eye no? So, it's a protective coating Now, underneath it is the choroid Now, the choroid naman is a vascular coating of the eye no makita na to ani kaning uh, drawing ni Joyce no mas klaro no uh, ang kaning uh, choroid do na siya yung mga arteries and veins so mo ni siya ang layer or coating nga ga supply o blood to the eyes so the third coating is the retina the retina is the neural nervous coating of the eye no so it has a lot of nerve and uh, nerve endings no it actually absorbs the light that would go inside the eye it absorbs it and it will transduce it it would um, change the light energy into another form of energy no so that's the retina now we're going to talk about um, the cornea no second this the the most anterior part of the eye called the cornea now the cornea is also a fibrous coating but unlike the sclera it is transparent and, and sclera man good opaque siya, so it doesn't allow light to get inside the eye now the cornea on the other hand is very transparent it allows light to go through it so when when the light will go through it it can now have a chance to reach the retina. Now, kaning uh, cornea is a very sensitive uh, part of our eye. No? Para protective mechanism, ang guna siya kung mapuling ta, doon ay foreign body mo, maigo sa tong mata, no? sakit kayo. No? Um, we try to protect ourselves dayon kay, kay sensitive man kay siya. No? So, ang light no mo lusot sa cornea will pass through this area here no this uh, the second area is what we call the anterior chamber then after that the light would go through this uh, area here it's actually a space no it's not a structure per se it's a space we call the pupil now the pupil is like uh, an aperture that limits the entrance the amount of light that would go through the eye or inside the eye number shell pull tahan no so it can dilate it can constrict now after that it goes to an area again we call uh, another area we call the posterior chamber ang anterior chamber and posterior chamber is being uh, divided by what we call the iris now the iris is the one that gives color or character to our eye to our eyes for us filipinos and uh, asians most asians have dark to light brown color iris no? now 
the Caucasians, they have lighter iris, no? lighter color of the eye, no? Pura sila towards the gray, blue, greenish um, color. Now, the iris is uh, the one, again, that gives character beauty. Mauna uba, no? Uh, especially mga, kani mga babae, ganahan sila nga murag mausab ilang, ilang mood and manindot ilang mata, no? Um, they use colored contact lenses. Okay? So, the light would go through the pupil. Okay? And it reach this area here, this structure here, the whitish. This is called the crystalline lens. By the way, kani kang Joyce ni, no? Basigwa na ko ma-mention. Kani nga drawing kang Joyce ni siya. Now, Kani nga crystalline lens, kani nga structure, is the one responsible for accommodation. Accommodation is a very important uh, dynamics in our eye because it allows us to uh, visualize smaller objects like na mga letters no, when we are reading. You know, it, the RI accommodates so that we can see clearly those small uh, things or stuff at near. And after that, the light would go through it because this one is transparent also no? transparent so it allows light to go through it after after uh, it is being refracted it will go into this area here we call the vitreous cavity now the vitreous cavity is uh, is monisha ang house no Ang dunay substance mangut nga naa ning vitreous cavity we call the vitreous humor. It's a jelly substance. Unlike um, the fluid that is found in the anterior and posterior chamber, the aqueous humor, ang aqueous humor naman is more of the watery. Although the same shape composition, jelly lang yun ang vitreous humor, and ang, ang aqueous humor is more of the watery uh, type. No? So the light would go through it. Then now it will reaches it reaches the it will reach the retina now where it, where again it is going to be transduced and changed into another form of energy now again uh, next we are going to talk about kaning silingan sa iris no we call the ciliary body atong it flip nisha okay. Kani siya, I think, um, feb na drawing. No? Mas klaro diri. No? Kaning yellow part here uh, is the one that is representing the ciliary body. Now, the ciliary body is very important because ang iyang ciliary muscle specifically is the one that controls accommodation. Again, accommodation is a function wherein the crystalline lens helps us see or view smaller object at near distance. Okay, so atong makita, no, na kaning ciliary body is divided into, subdivided into two parts. You have the pars plicata and you have the pars plana. No, kaning mga burag na projection, kaning burag teeth-like projection. Mauna siya ang area na we call the pars plicata. And kaning ni slope diri, mauna siya ang pars plana. It is also uh, important or, or ato sa ning hisgota, no? Nga, kaning where the pars plana end, that is where the retina begins. Now, this area here, we call the aura serrata. The aura serrata. Now, in the ciliary body, kaning mga projections, doon na siya mga mesh-like structure, no? That is attached to the crystalline lens. We call that the zunios of zin. Some call that also the ciliary ligament and some will call it suspensory ligament because it is the one that is attached to the crystalline lens which is suspended. Now, the, only, the only structure that is uh, trying to control or attach it to the rest of the body is the zunios of zin or suspensory ligament so that it, the ciliary body can control the accommodation process. Now, kaning iris, ciliary body, and choroid, word sumpay mani siya. Okay? Um, this is, together, they are called the uveal tract. 
no? the, the uveal tract. It is the iris, the ciliary body, and the choroid. No? ang uveal tract. Now we talk. We will talk about the next. We will talk about the retina. Kaning retina naman is again is the nervous coating of the eye. Now. In the retina, we can subdivide it into the peripheral retina, meaning there is skin, and we can uh, also say there is a central retina. Now, in the central part of the central part of the retina, in our visual field, is it's representing our central vision. Kana klaro kayo, no? Itawag sa niya daylight vision. Now, ang peripheral peripheral retina naman. It is represented in our visual field as the peripheral vision, no? or it is the type of vision that we use at night. It's a night dim vision, no? daylight ang sa ang, ang, ang central vision. Now, in the in the central retina, we can find this uh, reddish area here, and uh, that area is called the uh, macula. No, macula lutea. Now the macula lutea, in the middle of the macula lutea, there's a depression we call the fovea centralis. Mo niya ang pinaka klaro gin kaya ng vision. No, when we're trying to put a, a thread through the eye of the needle, mo niya ang area ng atong gamiton. Mo niya ang fovea centralis kaya mo niya pinaka HD. No, pinaka klaro gin niya makita jud ang details small details no so kaning retina as we mentioned already no na mo ni siya ang neural layer na nervous layer layer daghan kini siya mga nerves now ang nerves na naa sa retina mo exit ni siya into this part here no we call the optic nerve head or optic disc no um mo diretso ni siya and uh, go through ni siya mo agi ni siya sa optic nerve niya kaning optic nerve is connected to our brain so ang light na na transduce or na change into another form of energy mo pass through ni siya sa optic nerve into the brain wherein it's going to be processed in the area of the brain we call the visual cortex once it is processed, that's when the vision or the sense of sight actually happens. Okay, that's where the action is. Uh, now, kanisha kang isa ni siyang uh, drawing. Kanisha kang laser, no? Laser. Now, atong makitaan, ano nga drawing? Doon na siya yung purplish na burag channel no? uh, from the posterior part of the crystalline lens and going towards the retina we call that the hyaloid canal okay um our, in our next video for our next video we'll be talking about the details and the function of each of these structures or parts of the eye okay um, thank you very much